All new tonight, Wake County students may soon need to scan an ID before they can actually get on the school bus. A new proposal would put this into effect this upcoming school year. CBS 17's Galat Malama joins us live. Galat, this would help track where students are. It would, and the district says that's a safety upgrade for kids who ride these buses and their families. Parents I spoke to think it's a great idea. Riding the bus will be different for Tiffany Jacobs, first grader this upcoming school year, alone for the first time now that her brother is off to middle school. So I'm going to be a little apprehensive. But Jacobs says she'll be less nervous if the district implements a new ID scanning system for bus riders. Transportation leaders shared the plan at a school board committee meeting Tuesday. I think all of this, you know, is, is an enhancement in safety. It would require students to scan a barcode when getting on and off the bus so the district knows when and where the rider got on and off. It would also recognize if a student is swiping onto the wrong bus. That gives me peace of mind because I was a kid um, at one point and you know sometimes kids will jump on a different bus and adults aren't always paying attention. The district senior director for transportation Bob Snydemiller says students would scan an ID card or can use their phone. There's the actual scanner um, it's about this big. A board member asked if there's enough issues with children making it home to make this system necessary. Snide Miller brought up a case from two weeks ago where a father couldn't reach his high schooler. We could have gone to a system like this and we could have told him immediately that she got on the wrong bus and where she got on, where she got off, what time she got off. Some board members shared concerns about students losing the card. Jacobs hopes it's similar to information tags elementary school bus riders already have on their backpacks. The district says the goal is to eventually connect the system to the here comes the bus tracker parents use so they can also know when and where their child gets off the bus. So I kind of like it. Um, it is kind of like crazy with the technology keeping tabs on the kids, but it's good, especially for a younger child who doesn't really know much. The district says the roughly $700,000 this cost is already budgeted for. There's also a recurring cost every year, about $140,000 to print those IDs. It's not clear yet if and when the board will need to get final approval. Live in Raleigh, Gilad Muhammad, CBS 17 News. All right, Gilad, I got a question for you. What if the kid decides their parents are okay with this and they mm -hmm. want to go home on a different bus with a, like a friend or something? How will the scanner thing work then? Will it still work? Yeah, that's a question that a board member actually brought up. So that scanner is not going to recognize it. So the district says a school administrator will have to bring the child to the bus, tell the driver that kid has permission, and give them a temporary bus pass. All right. I'm sure they'll work all of those things yes. out very much. All right, Goliath, thank you so much. Appreciate it.